Welcome to the BBTV Network, coming to you from the UK studios of BizVision. I'm your host, Malcolm Gallagher. Now, this is episode three, sadly the final one, in the BBTV trilogy with international business growth expert and author, Levent Yildiskoran. Hello for the final time, Levent. Hello, Malcolm. Yeah, I've got a feeling this won't be the final time, by the way, because <laughs> this is such an important subject that yeah. uh, that we're talking about worldwide. Let, let's talk selling global, because selling right. is an essential element of winning an export order. I've met and Absolutely. interviewed a host of export sales directors in my work with governments and also here in the UK with HMRC, Her Majesty's Revenue and Customs. All the successful ones in my mind have a thirst to learn how to sell in that country, you know, how to learn yeah, tactics yeah. such as negotiation, uh, managing procrastination, and, and the process changes such as in, in tendering. So what's your thoughts on selling global today? Thank you for asking that question, Malcolm. It's a, it's a great question, and, and I'd love to share my, my, my thoughts and insights on this. And, you know, as a, as a business owner, we are very much, um, we'd like to control the cost and we love looking at our profit and loss accounts. There's nothing wrong with that. I, I, you know, it's very important that to understand our numbers. But growing a business is really beyond looking at PL or mm. beyond just controlling the cost. It is, it is adding new channels to our products or services. And this is why the international trade, you know, adding expanding to new export markets is so advantageous because we can take our product or service to another country, making sure that it's adapted and culturally uh, uh, suitable for the target audience. So, you know, taking that step is so critical. Now, but like you said, selling and winning is so important because just having a great product, great service, there's no guarantee mm. unless it is <laughs> it is sold. And how how do we do this? How do we engage with the target audience? You know, how do we get our message to them? It is very much similar to what experiences we had in the domestic market. Somehow we forget about them because it may take us years to build our business, and then we forget all these initial difficulties. Now, could we sell our product to our you know, English audience, you know, the UK audience without proper channels like writing stuff, blog, user guides, we wouldn't, nobody would, would understand. And same applies to international markets. Having a, a, a localized version of the product mm -hmm. and the web page explaining what this is, is so critical. When people receive information that they understand, they are four times more likely to take action. And mm. it is so important to make that emotional connection with, with, the, with the, like you were saying earlier, people don't buy the product. They buy a solution. They buy something that will, trans, that will provide a transformation. And we have to explain it to them that what we have is, is it will do that. And, and the best way to do that is to, make it make the message understandable by them in their own mm. language and making it culturally sensitive i mean there are so many elements when it comes to cultures and languages i mean you know tripadvisor their mm. logo is an owl and owl is a, is a symbol generally associated with wisdom now in far east china it's not always the case so the you know, what we, assuming what will work, what works in the domestic market will work anywhere, mm -hmm. I think is the biggest barrier we create for ourselves. So having, if a company there, having a wisdom, um, uh, owl as they in their logo or in their imagery, and they want to connect with the target audience mm -hmm. <laughs> in, in Chinese market, that will provide difficulties. So, yeah. so understanding those, those nuances mm -hmm. is so, so important. I think for, for selling to the audience in another market is understanding them and discovering those likely barriers that we can overcome so that 
we can create an emotional connection with them for our product or service. So this is yeah. the kind of angle that I would I would I mean there are other other things to take into account of course, but this is this will be the starting point for that will work for any business. Mm. And and it's not just language, is it, Levant? It's it's things like color. Uh, you know, you talked about yes, Japan, yes. Bef- uh, China before there, w- with the white and black uh, distances. So, color, body language is a as as another important one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, the it's again also part of the culture. I mean, the in China, for instance, the red color is has got a very important place. So, mm. you know, if you look at Chinese websites, it's very colorful. And yes. Does it work in the UK? No. But then successful Chinese companies, they adapt their website for the UK audience. They do this, yeah. you know, yeah. without any hesitation. And UK businesses should do the same or something similar so that it is actually appealing um, to the Chinese audience. Mm-hmm. Now, um, I mean, this is just, just one of the examples. And there are, there are many, many things like, for instance, English language, a lot of companies, when they think of export, they think of English-speaking countries. Confectionery, what we know as confectionery in the USA is known as candy. So yes. even, yeah. in, the same, <laughs> even yeah. in the same language, there are so many uh, different differences, like flip-flops. Yeah. Do you know what they call flip-flops in Australia? Go on. Tongs. <laughs> Right, yeah. They call it tongues. <laughs> yeah. You know, so 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 even in the same language, there are so many uh so many differences. When mm. Americans say, you know, let's let's table this motion, mm-hmm. they mean something very different than what would be understood in the UK. So you know, even in the same language, there are so many nuances. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I find it though fascinating, you know, Levant, because um, uh, just uh, let's say in, in, the, in the next 10 days, I know where I'll be. I'm in Japan tomorrow. I'm in Australia. Uh, I, every day I'm in, I'm in uh, um, uh, the USA where we've got thousands of, uh, of viewers there. I'm regularly into, um, into France and everything. Now, you see, I find that exciting. And, yes, and yes, this new yes. world that, of you and I talking like this uh, means that, you know, the world has shrunk a lot more. Yes. But it's so much exciting. It may be the, be the travel bit in me, though. It's so exciting, but it's also exciting to learn. So I'm talking yes. tomorrow with an English company that have, have them office, like you've got office in Turkey. They've got one in Japan, in Kyoto. Right. And I'm talking to them about... Um, how to deal in, 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 in Japanese. And it's so, wow. it's so exciting to learn, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Learning is so, so much fun and rewarding, you know? Yes. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. Okay, let's, let's um, give uh, viewers and uh, listeners uh, final details of your URLs. We've got, we've got two for you today. Viewers, obviously, you can see one behind me, which is ttcwetranslate.com ttcwetranslate.com. But, um, Levent, we're going to sub along the bottom a one for people to get your book, are we? Yes, indeed, yeah. I'd love to offer my book to, to the listeners and viewers. They can visit levent.team. That is levent, L-E-V-E-N-T, dot team, T-E-A-M. And that they can get a free copy of my book. If they're in the UK, we can post them a paperback version totally free. Internationally, they can download an ebook ebook version totally free, or they can. There's a link for them to order it from Amazon if they prefer so. Okay, and that book is called Good Business in Any Language, Amazon. and I hope across the trilogy that I've been doing with that event that we've convinced you that uh, opportunity is there. It can be so much fun doing business yeah, yeah. in another country as long as you make the effort. And um, okay. I, uh, I, I'm going to finish off with one little last one that I, that's always remained with, with me, that uh, do proper translation, and obviously the Vance Company can help <laughs> you there. Otherwise, you may be like uh, the Vauxhall car company that uh, tried to take its car into Italy, and the Vauxhall Nova, well, Nova in Italy stands for no-go. 
<laughs> the world may have <laughs> challenges, but there's also a world of opportunities awaiting most businesses if they're just prepared to make some effort. My thanks to my excellent guest, Levent Yildiz Gorin, for giving you some clear direction to success. Levent, many thanks for a great trilogy. Thank you. Thank you, Malcolm. It was a great pleasure for me to be speaking with you. That's, that's, that's always a pleasure.